Okay guys, now I've got a plug and play remote keyless entry for the Ford Econoline vans. So when you get this, you're gonna have this harness here, a T harness, everything's labeled, horn, parking lights. This one is program only, for if you need to program re new remotes or something. And you will need a pair of channel locks, maybe a flashlight, some sort of trim removal removal tool. When you get this, it's gonna come with a module and both remotes. Got a couple of my business cards. Contact me, there's my phone number. These will be in the box. You don't need them. They're just going to be for if you need to program something, like a new remote if you lose it or something. But just put it in the box and put it up where you know where it's at. Got all your manuals. It comes with wire ties. And it comes with the T-taps that you need right here. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this up, get it out of the way. And then you're going to pull this back and just pull straight out on this. Got these couple clips here is what you're taking out. Set this aside. Then grab your removal tool here. Pull this out. And you've got a plug right here, a gray one. And this only works if you don't have factory keyless entry. And I'm going to show you how to look at that. But we want to unplug this. Okay, the gray one right here. And we've got a black one that's got a black with a white stripe wire. That's where we're going to pick up our power. So, we're going to put a T-tap, and there's going to be people tell you you shouldn't use these T-taps, but it's fine with door locks and stuff like that. Remote, remote start? No, but you can use it with these. So, I hope you can see that. Right here in this black plug, black wire with a white stripe. We put a, this blue T-tap on. Now, grab your harness. We're gonna plug the purple with black stripe wires onto this blue or black white power wire on this blue T-tap. Okay. Then, we're just going to plug in the T harness where we unplug this one. And we can put this back in place. It's got a little hook back there on the back side. Feed this stuff in there. And I've already drilled a hole here with a self tapper. This is where we're going to ground it. Got your black ground wire here. Plug 
plug in the module. Now we got working door locks. So now we'll just tie this module up here with the supplied wire ties on this wiring harness. Then we're going to take the horn and the parking lot wire and we're going to run it all the way over to the other side up through here and up and over to the other side and I'll meet you guys over there. This wire here that's coming off the module that's black with the red stripe, I like to just tuck it in the rubber up here and get it up, you know, kind of a, as high as you can get it. Because that's your range. There you go. Just hidden back behind there. Now we're ready to go over here to the other side. Okay, we got the wire over here. So you just want to grab a hold of this panel under the steering column give it a yank and it comes right off lay her down there now we're going to take this out of the way too it's eight millimeter i'm going to try to set this down i hope you can see it it's got six eight millimeter bolts Just lay this down. You got your OBD2 connector connected to it, so just let it hang there. Now, your horn wire is this dark blue one right here down in the corner of this connector. So we're going to put a T tap on that. A red one. Because it's a small wire. Then we're going to go ahead and run this over. We're going to plug the horn wire in to it. There's another blue wire up here too that's got blue with red. Don't tap onto that one. Get the one down the bottom corner. And we'll keep coming on over with our dome light wire. And we're gonna go to the only dark brown wire at the headlight switch right here. And we're gonna put a blue T-tap on it. That's your dome lights. Not dome lights, parking lights, sorry. And we're going to plug the parking light wire into it. Now, let's grab our remotes and see what happens. All right, guys. 
you've got lock. If you hit lock twice, it'll honk the horn once just to confirm lock. And you've got unlock. Works on both sides. Lock, unlock. Lock, flashes parking lights once. Unlock, flashes parking lights twice. And then you hold down the star button in the center. Two seconds. Gives you panic, honks the horn and flashes the parking lights. That's all there is to it. Now, let me show you how to tell if you have keyless entry or not. You're going to pull this up. Now, let me pause this while I get it pulled up. I need both hands. Okay, now see, this customer tried to put keyless entry on here himself, and it didn't work out. So he had the two ground wires cut, and he's put them back together. So what you're looking for is the brown wire, the red wire, and the black with a white stripe, and then the two grounds. That's a five-wire door lock system. That means you do not have keyless entry. If you've only got three wires, one will be pink, green, pink, yellow, and the other one is probably green, yellow. But if you only have three wires on your door lock switch, that means you've got factory keyless entry, and this kit won't work. But if you just pop this out real quick, just lift up on the back, pull it out, and see if you've got all those five wires right there for the door lock shit switch. Brown, red, two blacks and black white. That means you do not have factory keyless entry and my plug and play kit will work. So, and your door locks still function normally with the button. So, that's all there is to it. If you're interested in this kit, let me know. Um, it's made by DEI. I buy these and I adapt them to the T harness with the original Ford plugs and terminals. That way it takes all the guesswork out of it and there's no cutting wires. There's no other way to put uh, keyless entry on these without chopping up the factory wiring. So this eliminates all that, makes it easy. You can do it in like 20 minutes. So if you're interested, you saw my business card, give me a holler, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, please like the video and subscribe. So there it is guys, everything's all buttoned back up the way it's supposed to be. And here's Willie. He drove all the way out from St. Louis to get this put on his camper, so. I tried and tried to do it myself, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate you coming out and letting me throw this on so we can show people how easy it is. It, it is easy with your kit. Yeah, no, no wiring has to be cut at all. So thank you very much for running out from St. Louis and helping me out with this. I appreciate it. Thank you.